Um, my hair's purple. And I thought that I would just come on here because I am doing a craft fair. It's my first craft fair in five years. Um, okay, maybe that's not true. Maybe it's... No, maybe five years, yeah. Oh, uh, I did one, like my mom's job. That was my last one I did, I think. And they sold everything. That was cool. They sold everything I made. My mom made some stuff, but... Anyway, just here. Eating some cake. Drinking some coffee. Watching some Golden Girls. Um, I'm working on stuff for the craft fair um, that I entered and I'm so excited it's next week I still have a lot of things to do and I thought it would be cool to vlog not just for you guys to see but for me to see to like look back on me like wow you're a procrastinator <laughs> By the way, uh, I planned everything out. Like I have a to-do list every single week, all the things I need to get done, and I have to get all of them done. I have to. Um, but, but I have a lot of things on my plate, so that makes it kind of difficult. Um, and I think I only gave myself five weeks to get everything and I mean five weeks to get everything like inventory patterns making them making the things I had to make everything in the past five weeks so yeah um, I'll be showing you all things that I made um, I'll also be having patterns on my blog and things that for once I make them yeah, I'm just eating this cake with some coffee to regener regenerate, re energize, rejuvenate. My hair's purple. It's gonna be smoky purple. I want it to fade a little bit more so there's like more pastel and then I'll put more color in. And I'm so excited. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um. What else? Let me tell you. It's just a lot. It's a lot. And I knew it was going to be a lot. And that's why, if I pull this off, I'm going to be really excited. Because I know the next one is only going to be better and more awesome because A, I'll have more than five weeks to do that, hopefully. <laughs> And I know that I've already done it before, so I can do it again. Even if I did it five weeks. Just a little relapse from the pneumonia I called. You remember? I ran six months. Tuesday before the craft fair. And I'm still getting stuff ready. I still don't have all my patterns done, just so you know. Like I'm not done yet. Um I'll have a shawl to finish. I'll finish that tonight. And I have some hats to finish to make for the rest of the week. Today what I'm going to do is take photos of everything because this weekend I was um, sewing like all my little tags on all the items and things. I still have to finish those. <laughs> finish sewing. And I also have to, sorry, my camera is crazy. I also have to take pictures of everything because I'm going to have a catalog of things. So you can like order, you can see what I have and order it. So I wanted to do that. So I'll be taking photos of that. Yeah. Um, to say that I'm stressed is... An understatement, but it'll be fine. I know it will be. Um, plenty of items. Um, I have a variety of items. 
So I think as long as I get the pictures done today so that I can print them out and um, make the catalog, catalog, uh, I should be fine. <sighs> oh my god. So yeah, I have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the craft fair is Saturday. So yeah, I don't have that much time to finish everything, but my hair is still purple and it's great. So. A lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff in here, and then I have this big box. I'm gonna get ready. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I have like an idea, but then I was like, mm, maybe I should be more cash and cool. I don't know. So, but yeah, I'm gonna change. Alright, so. for this to just be over with honestly because I'm like high stress all the fucking time <laughs> um but it'll be good I, th I have whatever I don't know I have a good feeling um so yeah all right I'll see you guys when I see you I don't know It is Sunday, um, the day after the craft fair, and I thought that I would um, um, come on here and just uh, give you a little recap, like what I thought, etc., etc., things like that. So, like getting there, and I think you saw some of my booth. I didn't vlog during the craft fair just because I thought it was a little weird in case people were walking by and things like that. Um, but overall, I think it was not the best. Um, not because I didn't sell through product or things like that. Like, that's a reason why. But the reason why that didn't happen um, was a very good lesson for me to learn. Um, basically, this was at a mall. Um, it was in a store at the mall. And you rented a table. At, and then they had you set up that table makes sense 
but they didn't have any like outside advertisement or signage or anything like that to say that there's a market like it was basically like a marketplace is how it was like designed um so like that didn't happen it just wasn't there so that kind of sucked the second part that really bothered me was that it's supposed to be like a handmade market um and i was the only handmade artist everything that else was like lula road leggings lip scents um these like jewelries from swarovski so it was like mary Kay, like resale type of things like products like that and that just like really bothered me not that it was like like i get it hustle make your money i have nothing wrong i i don't think anything wrong with those with that but it was advertised as a handmade market so i really thought that i was gonna like work well there but i didn't because i wasn't handheld because uh, you know you compare my stuff to other people's stuff and people love little leggings and they, they even those people weren't even selling that much too you know so like that's what's crazy because like the location was just so hidden it was such a it was a gorgeous day outside so no one was at the mall it was probably strike two and there's no advertisement so i did learn a lot from it um would i do it again no definitely not Maybe in the winter I would do it um, if I got the rent thing down a lot, like to rent the table. I think that was a little too much for what I got out of it. So if they could bring that down, then I think it would be okay. I'd be fine with it. Um, yeah, I just, so it was kind of annoying. Like I spent all this time and money to get there and to make all these items. I was freaking out, you know. But at the end of the day, you learn your lesson. So I definitely learned a lesson there. And that's fine. You live and you learn. And you get loves. <laughs> um, anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope it was somewhat interesting. I have some blog posts lined up about craft fairs and my experience with them. And this one specifically and then others. So you don't have to make your own mistakes like I do. You can just not make mistakes. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for those. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video.